It's actually Tuesday. Yes. Uh, we're going to make a bit of a weird video today because we are going to talk about my feature opponent this week, Week 9 in Elithio, which is actually a good friend and follower, uh, Blue Sea or the Edinburgh Knights. Um, so, Blue Sea is a generally good player. I'm not going to look so much into his team, really, because I know probably what I'm going to go up against, but Blues is one of those players that I have a good respect for him for a lot of reasons, honestly. And um, he can be tough to deal with. Like, he is a good player. He makes good responses in pressure, which also means that I need to be on top of my game to beat this guy. And I have one tactic that will defeat him. Uh, but I, I won't use it this early, because now that I'm actually close to the playoffs, um, if I reveal that tactic, and like I said, it will defeat my opponent, uh, it will also showcase everybody what that tactic is. Now, we can pull that off. We, we, it's, it's too dangerous to showcase that. We're going to beat Edinburgh Knights at its own game, which is actually... How we beat everybody else, but being very, very, very physically oriented and try to break something early on. And, you know, with that, all that said, that's actually kind of bad, isn't it? Actually, my cat just next to me. Hey, come here. Wanna be a part of, wanna be a part of the video? No. I don't have a webcam on anyway. But, um, yeah, like I said, we're really gonna beat this guy at, uh, since his team is actually fairly bulky, we can't go through them, I guess. He has Sylveon, Mega Lupane, which is like his fastest Pokemon on the team. Umbreon, Feraliator, Glisco, Red Eyes, Delphox, which is his second fastest. Flygon being his third fastest. Lantern and Bronzong. So we have a lot of Pokemon here that are, ooh, with the right words in mind, extremely fast. Yes, extremely fast. And could be really intimidating. And Lantern, for once, is actually one of those Pokemon that is um it stopped my magnus zone it stops my thunder is dead on track because it resists a whole lot of damage it, it actually does um because it's i think lantern lantern usually have volt absorbers of course absorb the um, derp um <laughs> i'm sorry it's actually absorb of course lightning damage and uh besides that i mean flash cannon is four times resisted by lantern i mean that's bad that's generally kind of bad, and um, yeah, I can't. I, Lantern is such a bulky Pokemon that I can't really Oko it uh, by any means necessary. Uh, I actually looked into what Stoutland can provide against. Uh, if things turn to shit, then this is probably what I'm going to rely on. Um, but we're gonna take Lantern here. Let's say it's actually going for a more um, supportive Pivot. Right, it's defensive at least. And we can even see here that the return is with band, mind you guys. It's uh, no, actually, I'm having a defensive set here. <laughs> you see, I've tried out everything, but let's say now the bar physically oriented, um, then it's still not to it go. I am forced to have life orb, I guess, this battle. Um, that did not help. We're gonna keep intimidate. Um, we're gonna have sand rush though. Uh, I need sand rush. But we're gonna have Life Orb. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I'm doing fine. So that's a 2 hit KO. Mind you, though, is that he can potentially Skull Burn me. He does get a chance to do so, which is actually really bad. Something I'm gonna use this battle is actually protect. Uh, something I wanna do against his. Uh, Lupin is actually going for, you know, I will take them because <laughs> this might actually do the trick for me. Uh, I'm going to try to try to fake out. I mean, he's going to make a vault, go for fake out, uh, and then protect for uh, his high jump kick because he needs to pull a stunt like that off. And uh, that take easily 50%. Uh, he has to go for high jump kick. He has to have that kind of pressure uh, incorporated with the team. Um, and Lupin is generally scary through and through. Um, he also, did I say his whole team? Yes, I did. Uh, so you're gonna have Sylveon, Mega Lupani, he's gonna have Umbreon, because Umbreon actually helps. Uh, he needs that bulk in his team, he really does. For Alligator, <sighs> I think he's gonna use it. 
sadly, and that's gonna be annoying to deal with. Uh, and then it comes to, I don't think he has to have Brown Song to stop, uh, because that's the only thing that really takes um, Stockland's damage output well. And after that, I'm pretty much split. Like Lantern, like I said, Lantern makes a difference. If it doesn't have Lantern, then Magnuson and Tornadoes, I was gonna say, but Thunders can come in kind of freely and uh, just makes it really tough for him to utilize himself. Um, that's something I'm gonna keep in mind. And uh, I think that will pretty much end what I think he's going to bring. He could also bring the Delphox, but I think Delphox is a bit too fragile for his own good in this battle. It's not a bad Pokemon, it's just bad against me. And Gliscor is, I think he's going to bring Gliscor. He needs all the bulk he can get. So Sylveon, Lupin, Umbreon, Alligator, Brownzong, and either Lantern or Gliscor. And I think Gliscor is the better choice, but Lantern is the one that stops a lot of my Pokemon down on track. I hope he doesn't see that going in. I really hope he doesn't see that going in. Uh, Lantern is uh, my major, a major threat this battle. And uh, then we're gonna look at my team. What am I gonna bring? I'm pretty much already decided, and I really like that my Chansey actually had made up all the. <laughs> he's been dead for some time now, uh, but he killed Chansey killed as many as it actually died. That's actually that's kind of intimidating. <laughs> That's actually kind of intimidating. Uh, Alright, so Keldeo is a major play this battle. Uh, I'm gonna have my Keldeo Scarf this battle. And it is only because of Mega Lupani. And I... Damn, I can't. Can I? I need to have speed to Mega Lupani. One thing I could do that will help is actually having Rocky Helmet on the Powdown. I have that fully defensive. Uh, because I could actually switch in the Powdown. He is forced to take on, you know, that kind of Rocky Helmet damage. Um, so that's that's good, like that works. Also, Scolipede would protect, and then Superpower actually kills uh, a Lupani. Um, so I'm gonna pretty much have the same set I had against Gearheart. Um, so I'm guessing these fours are actually going to join this battle. Um, they are safe in, like all of them. Um, Chansey actually hard walls them, and, and you know that's that's super super annoying. That that's the fact this time around that. Chance is actually really good this battle. It's the only one thing that really going head to head on the, or actually counter the Sylveon. Now my opponent will probably see that, but at the same time, like I said, he can't beat it. He just can't. I can T-wave that. Uh, yes, I'm gonna keep the T-wave even though I know the Glitch score and Lantern is a thing. Lantern can't really kill uh, Chance either, so that's something I'll keep in mind. Uh, but like I said, the loop Pony is damn. The loop Pony is a big deal. The Lupin is a big deal. Um, and I'm so weak to fight and I can't believe it. Um, like I said, Keldeo is really, really important in this battle. Um, having it scarfed could be dangerous though. I probably should have Life Orb. And just have a, like a high damage output instead. Really relying on that. And... Uh, yeah, Chansey, Keldeo, Hippowdon, Scalipede. Scalipede takes... It's a bit rough to bring, like, but it, it helps. Um, and then we have, I, I mean, I need Magnuson for the Bronze Song. I really need to lock that guy out of it. Um, I think it helps. It helps against a lot of his Pokemon. Uh, he, obviously, getting Oko by Feraliator, um, and that's going to be really bad. Uh, but he can't really do a whole lot to it. Uh, he can actually deal with the Mega Loop Honey. He can deal with the Sylveon really well. And um, I guess Flygon can kind of void it off, but that taking in Quire that they actually gonna bring that Pokemon. Uh, something I want to check out is if we have the Sweeperish um, Scolipede uh, with Mega Horn this time around, OU Offensive against uh, Umbreon, which you know he could be. Mega Horn kills it if it is specially defensive, but if it is defensive. Then uh, it's a 2 hit kill, and Foul Play is close to killing it naturally, which is actually pretty scary. Um, and then, of course, I can't do anything against the Gliscor. And Gliscor, like I said, it's going to be a major play this battle. It really is. Um, he kind of has to bring Gliscor to be able to void off whatever I could try to bring. Um, and that's, of course, going to be scary. Uh, for him too, of course, because he knows that the Scolipede doesn't necessarily need anything besides actually a speed boost to 
work properly. And when that thing worked properly, it has abilities to kill a Sylveon one kill, which is actually Mega Lupin is one killed. Armor is close to what it killed. Bronson takes it on. Lantern takes it on. Gliscor takes it on. Feraligator. Uh, Feraligator, I think, can take it on. After one Dragon Dance, it shouldn't really matter. I think that's the worst part of it. Uh, Feraligator, are you Dragon Dance? Yeah, that was some time ago. And. Um, Alright, so Waterfall does roughly 50%. I'm definitely not killing it. Poison Jab is probably my safer move. I don't want to risk it because I'm closer to it. Go now. Uh, with that said, I think most. Let's say it goes plus one. Like, that's probably a thing here. Um, and it's still not killing me, so that's good to know. And uh, I should steal out speed? No. Not even close. Uh, but he's forced to attack for his time. You're probably gonna see my protect coming. And I'm actually not gonna have poison jab. Damn it, so I'm gonna have. Aw, oh, shit. Yeah. That's a thing. EQ is not that important for me, though. EQ is not that important. That's great. That is actually good. I'm actually bringing up, like, I'm trying to design all this to try to break, like, everything on his team. Um. We're gonna try Keldia with Icy Wind uh, and having Life Orb instead. Uh, bah, 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 bah. We are not having those tactics here, are we? Let's say, let's say Scarf then. Uh, Sacred Sword, Hidden Power, Elect. Okay, that is not gonna work. Icy Wind! Icy Wind will be fine! Um, and. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should do a soft indifference about my opponent there. Uh, Gliscor. Hidden Power Rise is actually the superior choice. Like, uh, that's actually kind of funny. Uh, Ice Wind is actually close to killing it. Have we had? Let's say we have Hidden Power. Of course, I took that away. Hidden Power. Actually, uh, I'm very likely to have life form on this guy, aren't I? So, I think with that in mind, we actually can kill it. Um, ba, 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 ba. Then Ice Wind is a kill. I actually have Hydro Pump here, and I do see that Hydro Pump kills it, so I have no idea. Well, even Skull, what the hell is wrong with me? I can just Skull it, and that's game. Like, <laughs> it's Life Orb Skull. I am checking out Ice Wind for no reason. I love myself. I love myself. So, anyway, but that's, a, of course, a physical one. Let's say he was specially defensive, which I seem being very unlikely. It still kind of dies. Like, it still can't take him on that pressure. Now, with that said, uh, as long as he isn't bringing... Like, let's check out this team again. Yeah, Free Alligator is probably the only thing really, really, really... Um, able to deal with, uh, of course, the Keldeo, to some fashion. Uh, risking the Skull Burn is never nice. Bronzong is too killed by it. Uh, Lantern can't really do a whole lot to it. And uh, actually, what I'm saying is going to use Thunderbolt, and it should probably hurt a whole lot. But yeah, I think my main idea here is... Um, if I look at my team again... Uh, man. Skullipede, Powdown, Keldeo... Should I avoid Chansey? Maybe. I need Magnusone. Like I need, I need Magnusone to stop Bronzong dead in its track. It's one of those weird things where I know it's gonna help because it requires so little for me to actually work around this. And um, Stoutland is kind of important too. Because Stoutland actually hurt everything in his team, and in the sand, it's not gonna be stopped. Like, there is nothing on his team that can stop it besides the Bronze Song. And the Bronze Song coming in is actually going to be an opportunity for me to actually kill it. Huh. That's good to keep in mind. Um, so, Chansey, Kelsey, Repowder on Skullpeed, Magnuson, and Stoutland. Uh, I wanted to use Siglif this battle, but I guess we're gonna have to give him the cold shoulder. Now, I'm guessing this is the first time Thunders is benched. Which sounds strange, but... Uh, yeah, that is exactly what needs to happen. Alright. We're not going to make this video much longer. Like I said, this is going to be an even match. And... Um, 
If I win, I win. If I don't, I don't. Um, like I said, I have one tactics that I know is gonna work, but I can't use it if I make it to the playoffs. Uh, I just I can't showcase that just yet. And uh, Lucy, I'm coming for you. And for everybody else who's been watching, when this video goes up, it means that uh, the battle is over, and you will find out what happened very, very soon. So with all this, my guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care.